Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this customized flashlight project. So this used to be an old incandescent flashlight that looks like an incandescent flashlight with the reflector and the plastic and all. But I took off the reflector, took out all the incandescent, I took out the incandescent, took out all the incandescent parts and the button. So now I can't push this button because I filled it with hot glue and turned it into something new. I have used this project for something else. I have used this flashlight for something else before, but now I'm using it for this. So, I have this very odd, this is a fluorescent tube, very odd fluorescent tube in here. You might recognize it. Something that used to be on my desk. It starts with a P. It's a puck light. To be, to be exact, a Tresco puck light. As you can see, this is a Tresco puck light, and it has, and it has the uh, prongs here that just twist into the holder. And I put a heat sink here, and the heat sink sticky stuff stayed on, but this other one is still good. So has the two prongs, you just twist it in, has that unique tube design. Cover is also yellowed over time. So, why did I take apart such a unique, cool pucklet? Well, one day, it just started sparking a bit. So, this is, this looks a little, um, this looks a little unsafe here. This other pucklet, um, has like a, has a different, some, Somebody else soldered it, and they did a way more better job. Probably a machine. They might have switched to machine. But this almost looks like a person job because I'm pretty sure machine would do way more better. In this connection, I fixed it, but it wasn't making good contact, and it started sparking. So, I, I didn't want to use it anymore. I was like, whoa, no, <laughs> I didn't want to use it. So I put the light bulb was still good, so I desoldered it, and soldered it onto here. I used a screw to hold it on, and the ballast is in there, which I will show in a moment. Here is the battery, and if you flip the switch, it comes on. Very cool. It's very dim, but it will, but it will warm up to be super bright. So in here. Here's the Tresco puck light, and you can see the part where it sparked, and it got hot there, and you can see the burnt parts. So, I got the wires going into here connecting to the light bulb wires, which are connecting to the ballast. And the power wire goes out to the ballast and plugs into the battery. I got the ballast zip tied on there too. There's lots of extra room, so maybe I can use that for storage space. Wait, so as you can see in here, I got I got the screw going in here, and it goes right in between the tubes, and the screw is very small, so it shouldn't be a bother. And I was able to fix it mostly perfectly in the center. Here is that cool, unique tube design. I'll turn it on. Oh, <laughs> look how pink that is. Very cool. I put it back in. I just have to push it in. There we go. All pushed in. Let's screw it back on. And now turn it on. Because this thing takes a long time to warm up. So I'm going to turn it on. As you can see, it does not put out much light at all. Barely, it just puts out like a night light sort of glow. But it's starting to get brighter than that night light glow. And it's starting to warm up. And soon the whole tube will warm up. going to turn it on and off a couple times. It has a hard time starting. And even before, and with this other 
Tresco Puck Light. Has it still has a hard time starting because it's instant start and and it's very dim. As you can see it's starting to warm up. So it's not warmed up fully, but I'm gonna show how much light it puts off. When this thing warms up fully, it is very bright. But right now this is how much light it puts off puts off a decent amount of light you can see it just starting to get brighter now it's a now it's brighter than a night light bulb as you can see I'm gonna have to put some sort of like reflector because extra light is being lost into the flashlight as you can see that's getting brighter putting out more and more light It might look brighter. It might look brighter on camera, but in real life, it's kind of like three, four watt fluorescence. And this is a seven watt light bulb, so it puts out a lot of light, and that's pretty impressive. So I really hope you enjoyed this video of this modified flashlight runs off of battery power with this 12 volt lithium ion battery and and has this cool tresco light bulb in there fortunately the ballast doesn't work anymore well it did but i still don't want to use it and thanks for watching